Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see about string, string methods and also we are going to see about the string buffer and string builder classes and also methods available in these classes. Okay, first we will see about the string. First, we are going to see how to create strings. Uh, we can create string in these two ways. We will see first way, uh, string s1 is equal to high. In the way one, we are just assigning the high word, I mean the high literal to the string S1. The next way string S2 is equal to new of string uh, high. Here we are creating a new string object. In the way one, the compiler will check if is there any high word is present in the string pool. If any word is particular that high, high word is present in the string pool, string pool, it will just directly assign that word to the S1. But in the way to, it will create a new string object. Okay, now we will see a program and explore the different way, ways to create strings. See, this is a demo program. Here I have created a string in two different ways. One is like using sing, string literal, string s1 is equal to sth. And also I have created a string s2 in the same way. And the string s2 I have created using the new keyword. And also the string s4 I have created using the new keyword. Okay. Now we are going to calculate the hash code for all these strings. And we will see how the compiler has allocated hash code for these strings. Okay, I just run the program and we will see the output. See, for the string 1, we are having the same, the hash code 10, 28, 5, 6, 1, 21. And the same S2, the same hash code we are having for the S2. Because, uh, as I told you early, uh, if you are creating which, uh, by the way, one string S1 is equal to, uh, or using the sing literal, uh, the compiler just will check whether this particular word is present in the string pool. If that word is present, just it will assign that reference to the S1. Here, the STH is already present in the string pool. So, uh, it just point the same um, STH to string 1, string S1 and string S2. Okay, uh, for string S3 and string S4, it is giving the different hash code because uh, uh, string S3 also creating a new object in the heap and also the string S4 also creating a new object in the heap because we are using the new keyword and we are creating the string. Okay, now we have seen how to create a string and how to create using the new keyword and using the literal and what is the difference between these two ways. Now, we will see about the string methods. There are many methods available in the string classes like to calculate the length, we have string length, uh, to calculate the uh, substring, I mean, sorry, to uh, get the substring of the particular string, we have substring method, is empty method we have, it is used to check whether string has in some characters or it is empty. And also we have a equals method to check equality between the two strings. We will see a program to explore all these methods and we will uh, see how the compiler is reacting for all these methods. Okay, so this is a demo program I have created for the string methods. So here uh, this is a class name string methods is a class name and inside the main method I have created the string string str is equal to software and string str1 is equal to tester. So first I will we will see uh, string length method string dot length. So uh, and uh, if we run the program we will see what is the length of the string see uh, the string length is 8 the it has a 8 character so it has printed string length equal to 8 then uh, string substring method uh, this will give it will print the uh, part of the string uh, I mean where uh, in which we have mentioned the uh, begin index and the end index see here I have given within the 2 and 4 I have to print the characters inside the string so it has printed the ft so 2 is uh, 2 here 2 f 
and 4 between 4 ft 2 and 4 we have a f and t so it has printed ft okay next method is like string that value of i so this will convert uh, integer value to string or it can convert float floating point value to the string so here i have declared i is equal to 5 so this is the integer int i is equal to 5 so i'm going to uh, convert this 5 to a string so for that i have to give string dot value of i so if i give uh, it will give the value the i value will be converted as a string see this value has been converted as a string if you want to perform any operations on this uh, this five value you can do three uh, here uh, i'll see now the five has been converted as the string so i'll do some operations on this method If you want to calculate the length of this particular string, you can do with length because this this uh, five has been converted as a string, so this will be taken as a uh, one single character. We will see this uh, uh, output of this length of this value of string dot value of i of length. See, it is in fourth line, so the one is the output. So likewise, we can create the float into float into string. So this 1.1 is a float value. So here I'm converting this float value as a string SF. So I'm printing this C. If I print this one, it will give this value 1.1. Likewise, if you want to check the equality between these two strings, we can check C. Uh, string dot equals of string one. It uh, the string one is string one is uh, here uh, software and the string is sorry string one is the tester string is software so it will give uh, false because the, both the strings are not equal see it has given this false it's a false statement and if you want to convert the string to uppercase we can use this uppercase method if we want to convert the string to do lowercase you can convert low, lowercase string uh, to lowercase method okay we have seen many string methods and how to use that in our programming so uh, we have a, we have seen how to create a string and also we have seen how to use the string methods in our programming now we will see the difference between string and string buffer and string builder basically string is immutable because we cannot change the string value yes uh, we will see a program how string is immutable so this is a demo program I have created uh, created to check the string immutable character. Okay, here string str is equal to software. I have assigned I have created a class and inside the main method I have a declared string str is equal to software. Now I am going to perform some operations on the string and I am trying to change the string. So this string I will take string dot using concat method. I am going to combine this engineering as a string in the end. We will see the output. But I am getting only the software word because this str will not change if i do any operations on this this str this will be assigned to some other string so this str will not be changed and this is called immutability of the string for example if you want to perform any other operation like string dot substring of this str i'll give 2 to 4 as the index okay now oh, i have the print statement str if we uh, run the statement it is asking me to save and launch yes see it the software won't change the string software for the string won't change won't change for any time so if we want to uh, create uh, uh, another string so again you have to declare string str1 is equal to 
you can uh, get this uh, substring of this particular method you can get the substring for the particular string if we run the program now we can see the substring so we what what value we are assigning the first time it won't be changed so this is the now we have seen how to create a string what are the string methods available how to use that string methods in programming and also we have seen the immutability of the string now we will see about the string buffer and string builder classes so this is the example for the string buffer I have created. So I have created a class called a class called string buffer and inside the main method I am going to call the string buffer and string builder. So to create a string buffer you have to say string buffer sb. sb means like it's a variable you can assign the sb or st anything you can assign. See I am moving st. And new of uh, string buffer class, and inside that uh, braces, you have to give the uh, argument which string you want to create. So I just commented this st dot amp, and I will say uh, we will see it later, and we will see how the um, we will see uh, the value of st now. See, we have passed one underscore. We have passed one underscore value to the string buffer. So this st value is one underscore. Okay. Now, if we want to append, if you want to perform any operations on the string buffer, we can perform like string concat operation. Here, we can append one one string to another string. So here, st dot append. I am going to insert uh, combine these two value to the one uh, string st. So I have told early string is not change. We cannot change the string value, but we can change the string buffer and string builder value. So now we will check what is the ST value. Now uh, we have created a string ST is equal to new string buffer one underscore and also we are appending that ST ST dot append we are appending with two. Now we are printing here as ST so we will check the output now see 1 underscore 2 has been assigned to st so this is the mutable string buffer now we will see how to create a string builder and how to append the string builder for creating string builder you have to uh, say string builder st or any other value is equal to new of string builder and within the uh, brackets you have to uh, pass the value which string you have to create and if you want to append you just give this uh, object dot append and the string name and here i am going to print the uh, string builder value just we will check the output see first i have passed string underscore string first uh, first string underscore and we are appending append string so the both has been appended and see we can see the output here string first string underscore append string so in this tutorial we have seen about the string how to create a string uh, different ways of creating a string and also we have seen the different methods available in the string class and uh, why we have seen why string is imputable, immutable and also we have seen string buffer and string builder and we have seen that string is not changeable and if you want to change your string frequently you can use string buffer and string builder and now we will see what is the difference between string buffer and string builder the difference between the string buffer and string builder is the synchronization where String buffer is synchronized so it is thread safe but string builder is not synchronized so it is not thread safe. So in a thread safe environment you can use uh, string builder. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Have a great day.